Welcome to BuildBox 3.1. In this video, we are going to go over how to export your BuildBox video games onto an Android device. Before moving to the next steps, you want to make sure you install the latest version of Android Studio. Before we export your game to a device, there are a few best practices that we recommend. First, it is a good idea to remove any unused images and sounds from your project. Let's go up to the BuildBox menu bar, select View, and then Atlases. That will open up the Atlas editor. Next, you want to go down to Optimize. This will remove any unused images. Now, we can close the Atlas editor. Let's go back up to the BuildBox menu bar and select the Tools tab. Now, we can select Remove Unused Sound Objects and remove any extra sounds you aren't using in your game. Next, go to the upper right hand corner of the navigation bar and click the project settings icon. Go ahead and set the application store to Google Play Store, then enter a unique bundle ID, name on device, and drag an image over the top square that you want to be your game icon. If you only want to export your game to a device and you're not planning on publishing your game to the Play Store just yet, then you don't need to worry about filling out the rest of the boxes. When you're done filling out the necessary info, you can press the OK button and close the project settings window. Now we are ready to export your game. Go up to the BuildBox menu bar and select File, then hover over Export and select Android. Next, it may ask you to save your project if you haven't done so recently. After that, it will ask you what you want to name your exported game folder and where you want to save it on your computer. One pro tip we have is to include the platform name in the exported project folder name. For example, I'm going to name my game folder Game Name Android, then click Save. Once that's done, you can go ahead and close BuildBox and navigate over to where you save the exported project folder. Once you have Android Studio installed, you can open your exported game folder and double click the Android folder. Next. Double click the build.gradle or settings.gradle Android Studio document to open your Android Studio project. Android Studio will automatically compile your project with no errors. If there is an error or warning message in the bottom right hand corner, you may need to download missing SDKs or plugins. If you need to do so, there will be a blue link for you to click on. Go ahead and select build in the bottom left hand corner to open up the build output. Once the build output says project setup successful with a little green check mark, you can plug in your Android device. Make sure that your Android device has developer mode and USB debugging turned on. This is done differently for different Android devices, so you'll need to look online how to do it for your device. Once you have your device plugged in and you have USB debugging turned on, you can go to the upper right hand corner and press the run button, which looks like a little green play button. It should take about a minute for the game to load up on your Android device. Once you are done, you can stop the program and unplug your device and launch the game anytime you like. If you would like to upload your game to the Play Store or share it across multiple devices, you need to export your game as an APK file. To export your game as an APK file, you simply click on the Make Project button, which looks like a little green hammer. Next, go back to your exported game folder and navigate to Android, App, Build, Outputs, APK, and Debug. You will find a file named app-debug.apk. This is the file you can upload to the Play Store or share to other devices and run the game. 